Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be talking about a fantastic thing, passive income. How can you produce passive income, the first stages and then build it up with a membership website? I've got some great ideas, been helping clients do this for about eight, nine years got a load of experience which I want to share with you. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. So I'm coming back, folks. So you want to make some passive income. It is a fabulous thing if you can achieve it. But you've got no prior experience, but you're also looking at building a membership website or it to be part of of your plan in achieving $5,000 of passive income per month, which is totally achievable. Don't worry if you got if you do the right steps. The bad news, folks, is it will require a lot of work. It's just the truth of it, folks. So if you're just looking for somebody just to tell you that you can make $5,000 in less than a month with no prior experience about digital marketing, I think you should go to another video because I can't help you. But on the other hand, if you're prepared to put some work in and you're prepared to slog it out over a certain period of time, probably shorter than what you think, as long as you do the right steps, what I'm outlining is probably achievable, a lot more achievable than what you think. But a lot of people make a lot of mistakes, the unrealistic expectations, and they don't stick it, stick in, stick in to doing the work that is required. Now, if you've got no prior experience about building a membership website, um, probably it isn't probably the best thing to start off with if you're going to start making some passive income. What is probably better to do is to market other people's courses in the industry that you are planning to build a membership website in or products or services that you utilise aimed for that particular audience which you are planning to build your membership website. Um, affiliate marketing and marketing those products through YouTube, through your website, you can start making some decent income quite quickly if it is aimed at a target audience which you have experienced, which you relate to. It's very similar. A lot of the ideas that I promote through my YouTube channel and through my podcast, The Membership Machine Show, are really from the bootstrap startup world, um, SaaS, Software as a Service. And that world has its own community of influencers and conferences and forums and most of the things that I explain to you I get from that community and then I adapt it to utilizing those ideas when it comes to launching a successful membership website and one of the key concepts in this world a bootstrap startup is product fit you know does your product or service really fit into the requirements of your target audience does it really solve a problem uh, and then that is split up into two buckets and one is called a pain reliever and one is called an aspirational product and one you've you can solve, you're the pain, you're the um, pain removal solution, or you you can help somebody with an aspiration that they want to get. So 
basically after you've launched or promoted a few products in your particular niche that you're planning to build your course and you build some traction the other great thing in doing is not only are you getting some income in you're actually promoting yourself indirectly to the target audience that you're going to be launching your membership um course to so it's a win-win really so that's why it's another fabulous idea to utilize affiliate marketing um to get some traction and no notoriety but when you've got a certain degree of passive income coming in then you should look at membership now through the process of targeting your niche audience through your affiliate marketing, you probably also learn about your target audience. This will make the verbiage, the um, structure of the course that you're going to build and the targeting a lot easier. Now, the other great thing I want to put forward to you is you get a lot of people saying that your course has to be fantastic. It has to be better than other people that are providing um, similar courses in your niche area. I totally disagree with this. You know, they've got every right of their opinion. But I've seen too many people spend months and months and months, six months to a year on their first course, try, you know, adding chapter and chapter and more and more content to the course and i totally disagree with this it and i get this from again the bootstrap startup well where you will find this phrase minimum viable product it is kind of taught from all the leading voices in that world that you want to get your minimum viable product or service to market and then test it and see if you're getting product fit. And the same thing, in my opinion, applies to membership. You've got to um, find out if your course really meets the needs of its target audience. So I'm not saying that you just do something really quicky and janky. What I'm saying is... It, you look at the target niche, you look at can you fulfill a pain point through your course as quickly as possible? Can you build your first course so there's a real direct need which it fulfills and it gets a real victory for the target audience? That is the thing that will lead to success and will lead to you building the ability to build other successful courses and build uh, a long-term engine for passive income. This is why I disagree with people that say that if you're going to enter a particular market, it's really about doing your research, looking at the competition and finding a niche in a niche that isn't being met and being able to get a victory at outcome. It's also great if your target audience are time pushed. I, they need this result from your course because they're under time pressure themselves. Because most of us, unless there's a rocket up our posterior, we tend to oscillate. We tend to make all sorts of excuses. So if there's some form of pressure behind the audience, um, the students, it's going to be better for your first course. I could go on a lot more, but I want to keep this video to a reasonable time length. But the great thing is I've written a, a detailed article about some of the key concepts and some additional ones. You'll find the link to that article in the video description. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm making loads of content 
every week, every month to help you build a fantastic membership business in 2024 for yourself and provide the kind of um, support to your family that you're looking for. I'll be back soon, folks. Bye.